But that shooting stance, man, is freaking amazing. Like, hands down, bro. Like, she, she got skill. What is up, Dibs? It's your boy D. Welcome back to the channel and more Goddess of Victory Nikkei. In today's video, your boy is going to be checking out the two other characters that's going to be releasing within the next update. I don't know which one's going to come out first, but I just know we got two new characters, and um, I'm going to be real. I may be pushing it a bit here, but I but I just feel as though in my heart and my soul that these two characters are like a throwback to DC. Just because of the name, not because of the name, so to speak, but just because of what one of the characters' names are and the fact of the demographic behind the character. Before we dive in though, you know the routine, leave a like, subscribe, and make sure you turn on those post notifications. And let's go ahead and dive into this. So I have not drawn I have not, I've been doing my daily organs and all, but I have not done the story mode for this yet and I have not collected these at all. I'm gonna do this in the next video, so just stay tuned for that. I just I, I just have not just done it yet. I need to, I want to, I just haven't I did end up making a mistake and going a little further here though, so I didn't do it on purpose, it's just clicking on the wrong button and stuff, I went to the outpost by mistake and yeah, it just happened and uh, yeah, yeah it just happened, but alright, so what we're here to do today, like I said, we're here to check out the characters and all, um, alongside that I am going to do my dailies and all that stuff, so I'm going to go over here real quick, and I'm going to do a single draw, now I'm going to get shit anyway, no SSR is going to come out of this motherfucker, so I'm going to skip that, just get that out the way, and all that stuff as well and i'm gonna just click right here to collect these during um social points and all that stuff too just to get that out of the way all right so like i said we're gonna check out the other two nikkeis that are in game right now damn i need to why my hat look like that yo my hat look like a freaking ghost and shit right now bro like for real it looks like it's fading into the abyss in the nether at the same goddamn time like i don't like it i don't like it at all I'm like my hat Looks like it's fading into the nether in the abyss, bro. Golly. But hey, I mean I guess I guess this is how it's gonna be right now. The nether in the abyss. Jeez, man. Jeez, jeez, jeez. But alright, um, let's stop. I'm gonna stop procrastinating now. Alright, so like I said, we're gonna check out the two new UKs that are actually available in game right now. Well, not available in game in story. And the first one we're gonna be talking about is this one, Phantom. So this is the character which I say is the name that really got me. The name Phantom right here. And of course the Phantom is an Elysian unit and all that stuff. Dibs, pretty goddamn cool shit right here. Uh, I love the aesthetic on how the character looks. But there was an event in Destiny Child called Phantom Thief. And they were actually products of main characters in the story mode when it came to akin to how the story progressed and all that stuff. Um, um, I, I, I forgot the actual real names, but it was the event itself and the demographic. I know these two characters revolve around thieves and shit like that, so it's pretty damn cool. But this one's name is Phantom and all that stuff. Let's go over to her stats real quick because we're gonna do a review on her. Um, do, 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 click right here. So she is an assault rifle unit. Uh, ammunition capacity is gonna be a 60 percent. Her reload time is gonna be a 2.00 seconds, and her control mode is normal. Yes. It says effect targets, but for effect targets, is going to deal. She deals 15.78 percent of attack as damage, and she also deals 200 percent damage when hitting the core. So. Pretty good shit, pretty good shit. AR assault rifle, bro, man. No assault rifle unit, man. She look good, though, bro. She is looking fan freaking fantastic. I mean, I mean, I gotta say, I gotta say, I gotta say. I mean, look at this, bro. Let's just, let's, let's just click on it real quick and admire the physics real quick. You receive a note from me. I hope it inspires you to have a moment of introspection. Mm-hmm. Did you call? Yo, I'm not... my appearance, I'm in fact working as a librarian. Mm-hmm. If you receive a note from me, I hope it inspires you to have a moment of introspection. Okay. Did you call? Despite my appearance, I'm in fact working as a librarian. Uh-huh. I'm practicing writing some warning notes. Don't you think I'm cool? I think you look good. I, I think you got some thick thighs that's gonna save my life. <laughs> And I broke all around the aesthetic. I love the black and purple, man. 
You know what I'm saying? I do love how this character looks, man. That gun, that AR looks freaking fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, that AR looks so goddamn cool, man. It, it's, 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 such a, it's such a unique fucking design. If you receive a uh, note from me, and, I hope it inspires you to have a moment of introspection. Oh, okay, let's just that again. Let's see how the physical assets are right there. Well, damn, okay. Okay, yo, I'm not gonna lie. She got that pop jigger going down to the bottom. Like, if she go, it sounds like she's humping to the side. <laughs> she she let you go to the side twerk, bro. Okay, I kind of like that. Okay, uh huh. Look at that shit. Nice. Uh, uh, uh. Delicious. And then, of course, we got this animation right here. Then we got a walk. We got the shooting animation. Let's just see if we got a little something right here. Nope. Then we got the reload animation, pop pop thing. These are usually all use the same right here. The stun on the ground and shit, all out of out of goddamn knock the fuck out. You come to the library, I could recommend many good books. For okay. example, The Phantom's Tears. Tell me if you see anyone up to no good. All right, we'll click on the this one. The outpost is rife with narrow alleyways winding between these buildings. It's the perfect place for a thief. Like I said, fucking thieves. So yeah, it wasn't like I said it was a thing called Phantom Thief, and that's what really makes you think about it. Is Quincy is a fucking thief, and I, I'm pretty damn sure she's a partner. All right, let's go. Oh, I, I already gave it away. The other one's called um, Escape Queen Quincy, but let's go ahead and redo this. So our first skill is called Thief's Calling Card. It activates when hitting the uh, a Rapture with a normal attack. If the Rapture is not in Calling Card status affect the target calling card defense is down by okay so it's in defense down by 32.19 percent for five seconds it affects it um, activates with hitting the rapture with a normal attack if the rapture is not in calling card status affects self thieves dagger Good. Thieves Dagger. Hit uh, hit rate is up by 25.75%. Stacks up to three times. And lasts for five seconds. Aff um, activates when hitting the target when hitting a target with a normal attack. If the target is in calling card mode, it is in calling card status, affects self. Attack damage is up by 75.17% for one round. Damn. <laughs> Damn, okay, that, that's pretty damn decent right there. Okay, cool. All right, next up right there, Thief's Vision. This is going, both of these actually are passives. I didn't mention it before. Skill one and skill two are both passives right here. So, skill, so these, so skills two, Thief's Vision. It, it activates when Thief's Dagger is fully stacked. Affects the, affects the targets. Is calling card if it could, Affects targets in calling card status. After this, after and the, I'm getting tongue tied. Affects the targets in calling card status after the stacks are removed. Deals 83, 84.33 of the final attack as additional damage. Calling card status is removed after the effect is triggered. Affects uh, activates when thief's dagger is fully stacked. Affects self. After stacks are removed, distributed damage is up by God. Distributed damage up by 12.86%. Continuously stacks up to three times. Stacks are removed after buff skill is cast. Activates after landing through 10 normal attacks. Affects self. Attack is up by 85.12% for 5 seconds. Distributed damage is up by 31.92% for 10 seconds. God damn! Bro, that's a lot of attack damage. Yo, shit. Yo, I swear she's probably bait, though. I'm just gonna be real. Both of these are bait like a motherfucker. I'm more than likely gonna bite, though. Because that's what I usually do, but they bait, yo. But this is the that damn second skill sound pretty goddamn good. That's a lot of damage. All right, let's see what the last one is, which is our burst skill, which is our active. It's called Secret Trick Rampage of Thieves. 
I like the name of that shit. Secret Trick Rampage of Thieves. It says it affects all enemies. Deals 1,457.28% of the final attack is distributed damage. God damn. <laughs> Bruh, okay, son. That is delectable, son. Yo, okay, yo. These girls, uh, this girl right here, yo. Fuck. <laughs> shit, if Quincy is just as good as her, yo, that's gonna be some shit. But yeah, straight up like that. Elysian, man. <laughs> Fuck, yo. Shit, we just got a good Tetra unit, man. Y'all, we about to get some more Elysian? Let's go. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and um, oh, and I never mentioned this. Her squad is actually called Bur uh, it's actually called Best Seller. Isn't that Rupees? Isn't that? Ru can, I, can, I, can I click on? Okay, so she's the very first one for Best Seller. I say hold on. Uh, I, I, wait, best seller? Okay. So she's the only one that's a part of best seller. Alright, so let's go ahead. We're gonna go down here and we got this is regular Quincy. I have not gotten her yet. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And if we scroll down right here, here we go. We got our girl, Escape Quincy, the Escape Queen. She's a burst three. I think other girl, I think other baby girl is a burst three as well, wasn't she? Or was she a burst two? No, she's a burst three. Yeah, she's the first three as well. All right. So next up, like I said, we got Escape Queen Quincy right here. She is a missileless unit, and her team squad is called Real. And this is her squad right here. These three together. As you can see, this is baby girl Quincy right here. She's a burst three. She used to be a burst two for the original model of her. Man, and I'm going to be real with you, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it 100%. Let's go to the status mode real quick, bro. Yo, I swear, yo, man, this is, and, and for real, it's, uh, they've been posting in uh, another server my, um, I'm in, they actually posted another unit that's in the same suit and all, and all that stuff, I don't know if it was from DC, or not like DC, from DK or not originally, or she was gonna look like that, because I do know they did change the way that, um, they did change the way that our girl Sin looks originally, this isn't the Sin's original look right here as she does a mod that's out that actually makes her look the way she used to with the original skin for her and all that stuff so yeah some of the characters don't actually have their original skins and all on them which i mean i actually kind of like the new one as well but the other one was pretty goddamn lit but all right so let's check this out real quick so she is a submachine gun so technically smg and let's see her ammo capacity is going to be 120 her reload time is one second, and her control uh, mode is at normal. Effects targets is going to be uh, it deals 5.6%, 5.0% of attack is damage, and of course, oh, this one's higher. She deals 250% of 250% damage when hitting the core, when attacking the core. Wow, damn. Say so something, she's gonna be pretty goddamn boss as well. All right, let's check out these figures real quick. So, we're gonna go ahead and do this real quick. We're gonna end that move. We're gonna... I think being a thief suits me. Jeez. Maybe I should just consider a career switch. Oh my god, hold the fuck on, bro. Give me a minute. Oh. I think being a thief suits me. Maybe I should just consider a career switch. Oh my god, I fucking love that voice. Yo, her voice, yo, and that, and that pop, and look at that booty popping and poop. <laughs> on the side of justice. Uh, you know what? Fuck justice. Uh, fuck justice when it comes to to this. Fuck justice. I am not Batman. I am. Uh, I am in all agreeable with being down for the for 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 being Barney and fucking Clyde right now. <laughs> oh my God! Look Don't at that jiggle, me. bro. Today, today only. I'm this. On the side of justice. Yo. Yo, yo, over top. Hey, yo, look at that, bro. Oh my god. In outfit. Isn't that too up there, bro? Look at that. Yo, look at that pop, yo, all around. I'm on the side of justice. On the side of what? I think being a thief suits me. Maybe I should just consider a career switch. Hey, instructor. How do I look in this outfit? You look fan fucking tastic. Too small. I think it looks good. By my standards. Don't call me a thief. For today and today only, I'm on the side of justice. Nah, 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 nah. Don't call me a thief. Alright. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> okay. Yo, uh, I mean, I'm not surprised. I've seen way, way more skin than this in, in this game, but. Yeah, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm biting. It's bait, and I'm biting. I'm the fish that got cooked, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm the fish that's gonna get cooked. I am. Um, I'm the fish that's gonna get cooked up real goddamn good on dinner. Oh my gosh, bro. Damn. That's some real good shooting animation right there, bro. Just the prosteme of the physical assets that she has. And she, when you fire it off, yeah. That, that is uh, fantastic, bro. Damn. That, that, yo, that shooting stance, man, is freaking amazing. Like hands down, bro. Like she, she got skill. She got skill, bro. She can teach anybody how to fire SMGs instantly, bro. Look at that shit, bro. Uh. All right, let's move forward. Let's check out the. Damn. Yo, that back bend, yo. Fuck. <laughs> bro, yo, yo. Yo, I wonder if she under this how she really freaking boy. You know, obviously that's how she freaking walk. Because yo, she's so goddamn big, bro, that she can't even walk. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, reload, clink, clink. Mm. Her stun. If sin and guilty come looking. Let's see, the stun different? No, the stun stays the same. I'm looking for roots that thieves can use. Do you want to find some together? Sure. Have you seen Phantom and Miranda? We were supposed to meet here. Okay. If Sin and Guilty come looking for me, tell them you haven't seen me. I can't run into them wearing this outfit. Mmm. That, that delicious, man. I swear, man. She looking real. She looking some type of right right now, bro. Like, for real. Alright, so next up, of course, we already know she's an attacker type, as you can see from the symbol, if you didn't know that already. And, uh, of course, we know she's missileless right there. So, we already talked about that, and she's a water type. Alrighty, so let's set up her, uh, her set up her got darn skills. So, her first skill is a passive. It's called Secure Root. It activates only when... Only when Explore Root Stage 1 is fully stacked, affects self. Distributed damage is up by, wow, up by 49 points. Fuck, up by 49.58% continuously. Next up, it says, activates only when Explore Root Mode, Explore Root Stage 2 is fully stacked. Affects self. Damage dealt when hit when attacking the core is up by 25.25% continuously. The next part says, activates only when an Explore Route Mode Stage 3 is fully stacked. Affects self. Um, critical rate is up by 16.73% continuously. Jeez, yo, both of them are freak, yo, damn, bro, yo, I swear, nah, man, this is definitely bait, this definitely bait, Dibs is definitely freaking bait, there's no way that it's not bait, there's no way that it's not bait, it's not, it's no way, it's no way, these, they, 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 they sound pretty goddamn good, though, explore route, so this is skill two, and it's a passive as well, <laughs> It says activates after landing two normal attacks. Affects self. Effect, I mean, um, effects in um, in each phase. Effects in each stage. Um, very um, previous effects triggered um, repeatedly. All right. So stage one affects self. Hit rate is hit rate up by one point. 31.36% stacks up to 10 times and lasts for two seconds. Next, it also says attack is going to be up by 2.45 seconds, stacks up to 10 times and lasts for two seconds. Excuse me. Next up is stage two. It activates when explore route one is. Explore Route 1 is fully stacked. The hit rate is going to be up by 2.71%, stacks up to 10 times and lasts for 1 second. And then for the next part right here, it says attack will be increased to 4.9%, stacks up to 10 times, and that will last for 1 second. For Stage 3, it activates when Explore Route Stage 2 is fully stacked up, affects self, and that's going to increase that hit rate to 4.8%, and that's going to last for 0.5 seconds. And the last part for this one says, it 
it's going to be attack up by 7.36% and that's going to be stacked up to 5 times and that's going to last up to 0.5 seconds as well. So sadly the percentage of how long it lasts isn't going to be that long but combining that right there because this, this right here is going to be that damage dealer right there. This is going to be the time that is going to be in there to give it plus an extra attack boost right there as well. <laughs> Next up, we got her burst skill, which is active, and it is called the Great Thief. It affects self. Damage is going to be, attack damage is up by 57.08% for 10 seconds, and her reload speed is going to be up by 25.87% for 10 seconds. The next part says affects all enemies. Deals 1,736.31% of the final attack and distributed damage. God damn, bro. Oh my gosh. Bro, they are both freaking amazing in more than one way. I mean, damn. The physical assets are there, and then there's the bus ass assets are there. Shit. Bro, I'm not going to lie, man. These two looking real goddamn fly right now. I'm loving what I'm seeing. I'm loving, I'm loving it. Delicious, bro. I wish I could test them out right now, but unfortunately, they're not um they're not available to test out at the moment at least i don't think they are yeah i don't think they're available to test right now because usually they release the units for testing when um when, when the units actually out and all that stuff as well so if you don't draw it you can actually still test it out so yeah unfortunately she's not out right now let's go through both background stories real quick so because i didn't read to them and that's what we're going to end this off so for quincy right here her background story says quincy has become one of the thieves of justice at least for today she's searching for an escape route in the name of justice so as of now, she's searching for an escape route in the name of freaking justice in this case. Quincy is always escaping the goddamn spot, yo. She's always escaping the spot, bruh. The, like, she's always escaping that bitch. Like, the, the goddamn, um, the, uh, uh, the fuck, what is it called? Um, uh, the jail. She's always escaping the jail. Let's just call it that. And then, if we go up here to, uh, where is she at? Phantom right here. Almost past her. Go talk about Phantom, and her story says during the day she's a librarian at the Ark's biggest library. At night she's a Phantom thief who purchases who who who, who pushes who punishes evil in the name of justice through the though she believes though she believes she keeps her nightly activities well hidden most of the people who should know of it or who should know of it already do <laughs> so basically she's fucking horrible at her job she ain't she ain't looping the fucking third actually that's one of the characters names and um that was from dc one of the characters we actually was talking about uh she was the great granddaughter of lupin or something her last name was actually lupin so yeah so that i mean honestly i know more than likely it's not but i'm just saying like I feel like it is, but I, I already know that, that that's probably pushing a bit there. That it's, these characters probably got nothing to do with that, but I like to believe they do. But I'm only on 1,000. Overall, man, both these characters, I'm going to be 100% with you. They are definitely freaking bait, yo. They are bait, and I already know for a fact I'm going to bite. I just hope that when I bite, I get them, and I don't got to fight. Because I'm really going to go and save up gems now, because I want both of them on day one. I want them both the day they come out. I'm honestly loving this right here. I'm hoping this event is pretty decently long uh, and all that stuff. And I'm hoping like it releases like with a story mode type of thing and all that stuff that has audio. So that way we have time to build up and overall go for characters. But I'm out here on a thousand days. This is fantastic. Both characters, they seem legit to me. Let me know down below what you think though about both of them, man. Because, um, in all honesty, all because they seem legit to me, I mean, they seem legit to you. I want your opinions on this as well. And let me know if y'all plan on going for them too. Also, devs, let me know what you think about the, the shooting animations and all that stuff for these characters. Because I'm just going to be real, the shooting animations are fantastic. But on top of that, we're going to end this off. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are fantastic. 100% the true OGs. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful and all the good stuff, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. Check out all the social media links that we found in the description below. The link to the Facebook community game page, Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, Trovo, IG, Discord, TikTok, 
only available to be found on my link tree. If you're interested in joining the All Union Dibs, you can go over to Discord and what you have to do. Well, honestly, you can just join if you get the name already. But if you want to join, you want to join Discord too. Go over to Discord, get the role commander, which can get involved in verification and roles and verification. Choose your destiny and all the good stuff. And make sure you grab the role commander. Once you get that, if you're interested in joining our Union as well, Make sure that me or Dark Shadow Soul, Morgan Moonlight, one of the mods, preferably those two I just mentioned, which is Morgan Moonlight once again, or Dark Shadow Soul, they'll get you the union name or um, they'll get in touch with me and I'll give it to you as, my, as myself instead. And on top of that, dibs, if you're interested in checking out the game yourself, you can find the direct links to all versions of the games down below, whether it's PC or one of the mobile versions, such as the Google Play Store version, which is Android, or the Apple Store version, which you can find on the Apple Store with links down. In the description if you're unable to download it from google if you're getting an error that says that you are um that you are not compatible sometimes it does that and you are so try using the apk you can find directly link to the apk down there as well dibs in the links in the description too on top of that dibs be sure if you're interested be sure to check out the guys at victory and Nikkei discord server as well as the other social media down in the description below such as the fan servers as well as their social media pages which is going to be that x as well as their facebook community page and with that being said dibs we have a fun as infinite destination may your hearts be a guiding key and i'm just going to be real most definitely 100 percent man them jiggle assets them jiggle physics are most definitely mother Fucking key, I mean, god damn.